today I'm going to show you the number one resource I have for making props and engineering. It's no secret this here is probably my number one favorite toy in my collection. There's a couple problems when you build your own. One is is that this hub is no longer available or this yeah the wheel hub. That little axle extender is this piece here. Now this I believe was manufactured for the show. This piece is a tough piece to find. Now I've designed this up, redesigned it up, and I'm gonna provide that to you guys. Uh, you can find it on my Patreon page. You'll find the link down below. What does one do when they need a part or something manufactured and they don't have a 3D printer or they need something machined or they need a printed circuit board? Most people go to the local machine shop, go find a local computer nerd. Some people will go and find their buddy who knows a little bit about electronics and they're gonna make a circuit board for them or at least point them in the right direction. What I do is I go to PCBWay and it's printed circuit boards, right? Yeah, they'll do your printed circuit boards and they do an amazing job. I've had plenty of stuff done through them and it's awesome, they do that. Uh, but you'll also notice when you scroll through some of this is that they have CNC and 3D printing. Now, it's usually about a two week wait. So as long as you make sure you have your lead time set up right, you can get a lot of things made through these guys. You can get CNC machining done, sheet metal done, and 3D printing done. Now I have an example here in the cart. I'm just gonna go to my PCB way, one item waiting for payment. Now you're probably gonna look at this and go, oh, because it says $267 for eight of these. Yes, it's a tiny piece. It works out to like about 30, 35 dollars, somewhere in that range per piece. The thing is, is that if you go to a local machinist, you're gonna find that this is probably gonna cost you at least a hundred dollars to have a short run of these things made. To get more bulk, obviously, is gonna cost you less. And the same thing applies to PCB Way. You can bring that cost down quite a bit. But all I do is I download this and I also download a drawing with it. I'm gonna put in the dimensions and sort of tolerancing that you need. Now, there's one thing that you might notice here is that we've got this hole is uh, eight millimeters or 8.1 millimeters. You need to get this little tiny bolt or this nut that fits in. It's a hex nut and it hooks onto a, you think it's five millimeter hex. And that goes to the inside of this guy like so. And that hooks onto the axle and then you attach the tire to the outside. But you have to make sure the tolerances are right. And this is something you gotta be aware of with PCB Way. They are really smart about what they do for machining and there's a tolerancing system. The tolerancing system is plus or minus 0.2 millimeters and that can make the little tiny nut not fit. So that is the one thing that you gotta be aware of when you're doing this. So that is why I have a drawing here with this a little bit on the oversized bit. So that way I make sure that the hole is gonna be proper. You can also say the tolerancing on this, but we're not gonna go down that deep rabbit hole of engineering. Nobody wants to hear that stuff. Put the questions down below and I'll do my best to answer, but those are gonna be the minority questions. Maybe, maybe the questions will be the minority report. You're gonna have access to this file on Onshape even if you don't have an account. But again, the only way you're gonna get access to it is to go through my Patreon. Those that actually join me on Patreon, you can come onto this window and you can right click and you'll be able to download. That download will get you the file that you need. Same thing applies to here, download. You're gonna download that, that'll be the file you need. The Axle Extender PNG, you wanna download that. They don't upload PDFs or anything like that to PCBWay. Come into PCBWay.com, you're gonna log in or create a login account. You're gonna to go to CNC and 3D printing and we wanna do CNC. We're gonna do CNC modeling. We're gonna to have to pick out the files that we need. So we've got the downloads. We've got the RTV axle extender, that piece right there. It's in millimeters. We're gonna say, hey, you know what? We need one, eight, whatever. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna have them quote on 10. Uh, we want it made out of aluminum, aluminum 6061, silver white. We're not worried about that. If you're an engineer or engineering type, a lot of this is gonna make sense, but this will be enough to get you the pieces that you need. Surface finish, we're not gonna use that. Upload a technical drawing. That's where we're gonna add the PNG file. So we're gonna take that guy, we're gonna add him. Um, does your parts need to tap threads? We're gonna say yes, because there is some threads in there. 
tolerancing. You can set the tolerances tighter, but it's gonna cost you more. This tolerance is fine, as long as you make sure that that inside bore is exactly what you want. No marking, surface roughness, yada yada, really boring stuff. Finished appearance is standard, standard work inspection. If you want them inspected and perfect, then it's going to cost you a little extra, and that's totally understandable. Tell them what it's for, consumer products or whatever, kind of a consumer product. It seems that we have everything there. So we've got the aluminum, let's submit the request. Generally, these just take a few minutes to actually get the request put in and then they'll tell you how much it'll cost. You give them the money, they make it and they ship it to you. It's generally about two weeks, maybe three. I've had one thing be four weeks, but that was over COVID and transportation and everything was kind of a pain. But for the most part, you're gonna be able to get these parts within a couple of weeks. I'm telling you now is that some of the props I've made, some of the pieces I've made, some of the art pieces, everything, almost all of them have used the PCB way machining. Um, local machinists are expensive and they're understandably expensive. This isn't an easy thing to make. So it's gonna cost you a whole lot more. It's definitely gonna cost you more than $30 a piece. Um, so the big thing here is, is that you're gonna wait a little bit, but you're still gonna get the pieces that you need. I'm going to show you some footage here. Um, it's really as simple as you spin the wheel off or spin the wheel nut off, take the tire off, pull that axle out. Be very careful, there's a little tiny pin in there you got to be watching for. Place the piece that you need in on that axle. Um, use your special little bolt or nut. This here is this nut. Now, it is not exactly the same as on the RTV but it's darn close. And I'm sure you can find some off-market ones that are exactly the same, which are just kind of a plain nut. That's the part number that you're gonna be asking me for. Second part number you're gonna be asking me for is this little tiny nut that hooks onto the axle, goes into the screw of the, screw of the axle itself, so you can put the extender on. And that is this part right here. So you can go and grab those two pieces and order a few of these. And that is one of my biggest tricks. Yeah, I know it sounds like an ad and it, it is an ad. I am getting paid for this, but in complete honesty, I've been using these guys for years. Up until now, this has been my number one don't tell anybody trick because I can get things done faster, quicker and cheaper than most other people out there. There's my biggest secret for making props. I really hope this helps you out. I hope it makes you move forward and start making some things. So shows PCB way some love for allowing me to do this video and um, make sure that you go down into the links down below, go on to Patreon. If you don't want to do the 3D CAD model of this, you can get it there. There is going to be links here, here, over I don't know. There's going to be links here so that you can look at some of the other videos that I have done. And also a subscribe button, which you really should click because you watched it to this point. You obviously like my content. Hit that fucking button.